Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. It's just a short but sweet video today showing a journal that I completed. I kind of wanted to go back to my roots and some of the first journals that I made were this size. This is four and a half by eight and a half. So it's kind of like a traveler's notebook size and it has only has 48 pages. It's slightly decorated, a purple theme and some little beautiful bead dangle so it's just a piece of sweet simplicity and I thought I would just take a couple minutes to uh, show it to you since it is available in my shop for sale I chose this wallpaper that's purple and then it has silver you can see here and it's stitched and then I just layered up a whole bunch of papers and um, this gorgeous vintage print here for the front so it's these sweet little siblings here and they're stitching and vintage papers and washi tape and wallpaper and stamping and all of that and I have lined it with hand dyed paper and wide washi tape my mom actually hand dyed some of the papers in here these purple papers so they're gorgeous some gorgeous florals and little my boys are on Christmas break so they're very loud in the background but you know Got a little journal card here. This is from Work Basket Moths. I tried to keep it sweet and light. This, I hand dyed this paper. It's got some glitter in it. Some vintage stationery. Little glitter pocket I did. My mom dyed some of this paper. Little beaded safety pin. I hand dyed this short and sweet this is a victoria designs page gorgeous little vintage prints from some of my ephemera packs this is um so i printed it from a creative fabrica.com and i searched journal cards found a whole bunch and these this one was gorgeous some purple card stock oh this was fun to make just layering, practicing collaging and layering. It's vintage paper, a vintage print, and some washi tape. Made a little tag bookmark there. Got a little stuffed pocket, a little butterfly punch, and some hand-dyed paper. Well, <laughs> little label, little hand-dyed tag, and then this is from Past Words, one of my ephemera packs. Book pages, little leaf, that vintage stationery, little library card from Dreamy Designs Club. You can still purchase Dreamy Designs Club. It's just a collection now. And if you search it in my shop, Dreamy Designs Collection, it will pop up beautiful book pages, hand dyed paper. So it is not huge, but short and sweet. I kind of want to get back to some short and sweet, cheaper journal options. Um, they take a little less time to make and a little less money to purchase, but they are every bit as beautiful. And I'd like to stock my shop with a few more of those going into the new year. Just started another one. I can't wait to show you in the next week or so, as soon as I can get a chance to share it with you. You know, with the hol holidays, we are very busy. I'm sure you all are too. So thank you so much for giving me a few minutes of your time to show you this. If you want to purchase it, it's in my shop, nevermorecreations17.com. The link is directly in the description box below this video. And you'll find a bunch of other links in my email and other things there as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll see all of you tomorrow with some more goodies.